Hello everyone, today we're going to be addressing the problem or the elephant in the room which is basically our weapon upgrade costs. So you'll see over here that it, there is currently a problem with the transformation stones. So you can see here from my wing song stage 3 to stage 4 it cost 40 of the transformation stones which is actually a little bit more expensive than before. I believe the old cost cost 30 so it was a cost increase over there. However that's not the main problem, I'm not mad about that. What I'm a little bit frustrated or a little bit mad about is actually the cost here. So you'll see from your Grand Celestial 6 to your Grand Celestial 9, it's going to cost you... It's going to cost you 255 Transformation Stones for these three levels. Just from Grand Celestial 6 to Grand Celestial 9. The reason is because for each stage, it's costing you 85 Transformation Stones. So this is a ridiculous amount of transformation stones and is actually a lot more expensive than the old cost. We have a Chinese saying for this, it's called 好心做坏事. And that's basically, your intentions are good. You wanted to remove the RNG out of the upgrade system. So you know, you remove the premium transformation stones on most of the upgrades. However, by doing so and replacing the premium transformation stones with regular transformation stones, which is 100% chance of crafting, you're hurting the economy and you're actually hurting the player base a lot because you're increasing the cost significantly by putting so much demand and so much stress on transformation stones. If you check the marketplace right now, you'll notice that the transformation stone price has increased significantly because there's just so much demand for these transformation stones. And because it's so easy to craft now, a lot of people are crafting, but what they're realizing is they're running out of tradable material. So the purpose of today's video isn't just to rant and just to say, oh, NC Soft, NC West sucks, blah, blah, blah. It's actually to find a solution. So my solution is quite simple. When you press L to open up your crafting guilds, you're going to notice that for Earthseer, Soul Wardens, and basically every crafting guild, we always have a sealed version and an unsealed version. So a tradable version and an account bound or character bound version. So what do I mean by that? Let's look at Earthseers over here. Well, Earthseers they have Sealed Champion Charm Bundle. So you can craft four of them over here by using tradable materials. So these you can sell on the market. However, they cost a lot. You can see they cost 100 of these Secret Orbs, 25 Moonstones, 25 Elysian Orbs, so forth and so on. However, you can also craft regular Champion Charms. You can craft 45 of them with 72 Soulstone Crystals, with 18 Moonstone Crystals, with 72 Sacred Crystals, and with 18 Elysian Crystals. So these are the ones that you just farm normally and it's quite easy to obtain. And you're crafting 45 of them, which is a lot more than the four over here. Let's see, if you wanted to craft 16, it'll cost 100 Moonstones and 100 Elysian Orbs. This is like insanity. Like sure, I know when you open these you get 10 of these, so technically all these materials equals 160 of these champion charms. However, you can see here if I wanted to craft 105, you know, I'm paying a lot less here for these character bound ones than these tradable ones. So we need this equivalent for the other crafting guilds, like even Soul Wardens over here. You can see over here that there's the Masterwork Soul Shield base, which is account bound, and you can craft up to 20 of them. And it only costs 30 Moonstone Crystals, 30 Elysian Crystals, and it's very, very cheap. Or you can craft the one which is very expensive, you know, this one you can craft 40 of them over here, however it's going to cost 60 Moonstone and 60 Elysian Orbs as well as you know 240 Soul Stones and 240 Sacred Orbs. Like we have the choice as the player to craft ones which are bound on account or the ones which are tradable. And we need the same things to happen with our Transformation Stones, our Empyrean Stones and all of that jazz. So let's switch over to my Gunner and I'll show you what exactly I mean. So here I am on my gunner, again I'm going to press L and you're going to see on the Forge Keepers tab right here that we can craft regular Transformation Stones over here and Empyrean Spirit Stones. So these are tradable versions and they cost a lot. You'll see that in order to craft 24 of them, you're going to need 16 Moonstones, you're going to need 16 Elysian Orbs, 64 Sacred Orbs and 64 Soul Stones. So these are all tradable materials and very difficult to obtain for a regular free to play player or regular player that does not participate in PvP. So these materials are rather scarce and very difficult to farm. However, there is no alternative because you can see over here that you can craft all of these uh, account bound stuff. However, 
it does not have an account bound version of a transformation stone or an imperial spirit stone so we need an equivalent of this we need to be able to craft a one that is account bound or even character bound so that new players have a way to obtain these transformation stones without having to pay so much gold because currently with the new changes you can see here that i'm grand celestial six in order to upgrade my pistols from stage six to stage seven I am not bottlenecked by any of these things. The only thing that's bottlenecking me is actually the transformation stones, funnily enough. With the old patch, I would be able to upgrade it because it just cost a premium transformation stone. However, I do understand that the purpose of this patch was to take away the RNG factor and upgrade your gear in a steady progression path. However, this is not the way to do it because your quote unquote cost reductions is actually a very very significant cost increase because of these transformation stones so i really do encourage ncsoft to change this you really have two possibilities one is the idea that i suggested having the ability to craft transformation stones which are account bound uh, obviously that will take a little bit of programming however i feel that would be the better path to go the second solution is even easier the second solution is simply just remove the transformation cost from your upgrades or just significantly decrease the amount of transformation stones needed in order to upgrade your weapons. Because at the moment, it is ridiculous. Like anything above Aransu 9 is really, really, really bad for anyone who's trying to upgrade their weapons because simply of the cost increase. It's insane. From everything from Raven to Aransu 9, I feel like it's okay like it's justifiable but it's not really that significant of a cost reduction again because of the addition of the transformation stones evil do us harm did all the math and he said that there was a huge cost reduction a 66 percent cost reduction however that was because nc west did not add the transformation stones on the spreadsheet until the patch went live so with the cost of the transformation stones, the cost reduction is very, very minor, which is actually very unfortunate for a lot of players, because I know that a lot of players watched my videos, watched Evil Do Us Harm's videos, and we were all excited because we we're just like, wow, you know, cost reductions are amazing. However, suddenly by doing this, you kind of stabbed us in the back again. And you know, the community will only allow you to stab us in the back so many times before we really do lose all faith and all trust in your announcements and your patch notes. So NCSoft, NC West, please get your shit together. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. If you guys did, I would appreciate a subscribe. Or if you want to go that extra mile, please consider becoming a member. Speaking about members, I'd like to thank Ari Sora, Gonzola B, Jeremy Chen, Nayana, Pearlstyle, Lina Ren, Toots McGee, Sola Hero, ST Sin 2, and Key for supporting the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!